Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to think like Sherlock Holmes. It's pretty awesome. Check this out. Hey, my name is Ron White. I'm a two-time USA memory champion. I'm the author of a book, Mind Palace. How to Memorize and Surmise Like Sherlock Holmes. Here are some ideas, tips, and strategies on how you can learn to think like Sherlock Holmes. Number one, talk through your conclusions with a trusted person. Who did Sherlock Holmes always have by his side? Well, that's elementary, my dear Watson. Watson was always there and Sherlock Holmes would talk with him and bounce ideas off of him. And that was such a critical tool in Sherlock Holmes coming to his deductions. Sherlock Holmes once said, nothing clears up a case so much as stating it to another person. Number two, travel. Explore the world. Go to different cultures and see different places. When Sherlock Holmes was presented with a case or a problem, he wasn't trying to solve that based upon his knowledge of simply where he grew up or where he lived. Because of travel, his mind was opened to different possibilities, different cultures, and he could see the same problem or the same case from many different angles. Travel is a key tip to expanding your mind and seeing things a different way like Sherlock Holmes would do. Number three, observation. Give yourself a daily challenge to work on your observation skills. Most of the time you're going through life and you're not really paying attention to the small details in life. Set a goal. When you walk past a picture, stop and look at that picture or that painting and notice the small details of that painting. The idea is to teach yourself to notice the small details in life. And then if you do, over time, you will begin to notice when something is out of place place. Gather information from all different types of sources. Sherlock Holmes would read the Agony Ant column to understand how people thought and what made them tick. For you as well, don't be afraid to get information from sources that isn't as intellectual. That might be reading the gossip column or reading a tabloid when you're at the supermarket. I know a lot of very successful copywriters, people who write sales headlines, and they get those not from super intelligent marketing books, they get those by looking at the tabloids whenever they are checking out at the grocery store. If you're gonna think like Sherlock Holmes, be open to get information from all sources of information. Tip number five, become a better listener. Develop the art of listening. Sherlock Holmes developed his art of listening so well that he could not only hear what was being said, but what wasn't being said. Watch their body language. See if they look like they're looking away or if, they're, or, or if their arms are crossed. Become a great listener. Ask questions and you will become more like Sherlock Holmes. All right, number six, and I think this is a big one. Use logic, not emotion, to solve problems. Sherlock Holmes said, it is a capital mistake to theorize before one has data. Insensibly, one begins to twist facts to suit his theories, instead of theories to suit facts. Finally, my last tip on how to think like Sherlock Holmes is without question my favorite, and it is the Mind Palace Technique. Sherlock Holmes books made the Mind Palace Technique popular, and it's a technique that I have used to win the USA Memory Championships, uh, compete on national television shows, and in my everyday life to memorize tons and tons of data. It's a memory system where you use a map of your house and you place data or visualize it around of a map of a house. I have a complete free training on the Mind Palace where you can learn how to think and memorize like Sherlock Holmes, and it's in my book. Mind Palace, How to Memorize and Surmise Like Sherlock Holmes. To get that book, click the link right here or click the link below. Go on, get the Mind Palace book, click the link right here or click the link down below. All right guys, if you are a big fan of Sherlock Holmes like I am, give us a thumbs up, 
Don't forget to subscribe. We got tons more videos coming and I'll see you on the next video.